Hey, Alien Tiger, how you doing? What are you doing for lunch today, Alien? What games are you playing lately, Alien? One second. There, Chasey. You want a job? Sure. As long as it doesn't involve riding animals around. Uh, then I got bad news because it kind of does. Uh, hey, Yash, how you doing? If someone I know wants the giant Lunch is pasta salad. I like pasta salads. I have pasta salads most days. Give me a call once you got it out of the museum. Sure thing, Vinny. Ellie, I think I've got a lead on the Fury case. In Bluebell National Park? Uh, no. Vinny called me about a job at the museum. I've got to steal a robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. If my uncle called to find out where you are, I'll square it with him. Thanks. And... Maybe don't tell the chief just yet. Sure. Ah. <laughs> Got these Lego guys don't stop talking. How are you doing, Yash? If you had a good day. I turned my back and they hooked it again. They'll be all over Lego City by now. If you could just Hey Dan, are you okay? I'm okay, thanks, Dan. Just gonna chill out on Lego for a little bit. Are you streaming yet? I don't think Phantom's here yet, Alien. <laughs> you had a good day, yeah. I'm go <laughs> okay. So my friend's gonna come over in the week. He's gonna try and sort my desktop PC out so that I can stream Nintendo 64 emulators. <laughs> you don't need to have a demanding PC to do that, but I can get the game audio to stream, but it's not picking up the microphone, so he's going to look into it. He's good with computers, but I'm looking forward to streaming to some Nintendo 64 stuff. You know, you would think this is kind of an easy game to play whilst you're streaming chat, but sometimes I do kind of get lost with it being open world, and I'm not, to be honest, I'm not fully paying attention to the plot, <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. But at least it's this green line I assume that I'm going to follow up to there, up to that star. You're on Resident Evil 2 at the minute, aren't you, Dan? This is an emergency. You make, you, you're making some good progress on it, though. Once you get through the station, it's not too bad. It's the station that's the worst part. Once you get to the sewers onwards, it's kind of linear for the most part. A little bit of backtracking in the facilities near the end, but not too bad. God, that onesie he was wearing looked really warm, by the way. <laughs> it looked really comfortable, though. Yeah, he looked like he was getting close. It's just the facilities at the end. You backtrack a little bit. The facility in Resi 3 was really small at the end. You didn't really have to do a lot. Yeah, it's the station. It's... To, it's all... For me, Resident Evil 1, the mansion at the start is the worst bit, with all the keys and the masks. And then Resident Evil 2, the worst bit is the mansion, at the, I mean the station. But it's amazing, because once you've played it a couple of times, you can speedrun it in an hour and a half, two hours. It's just a matter of, like, playing it a little bit. Oh, oh you've never played number three? I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you play... I, I've never played the four... When you say... Four, you mean the remake of four, right? I'm actually really looking forward to seeing you play number three. <coughs> if you've never played it before. 
Although I do need to watch like maybe I'll probably need to watch like maybe half an hour of your previous stream still. I've I've not played the full remake myself. I want to get it, you know, the gold edition with the DLC. Because if I'm going to play it, I want all the Ada DLC as well for the full uh, experience. You don't talk at the table. Yeah, you be quiet and eat your food there. <laughs> you know, I've been kind of been surprised by these Lego uh, streams. Because usually when the stream ends, it's like 50 or 60 people have watched or ch tuned in briefly. And then like over the couple of days, they go up to over 100 views. I mean, they don't not necessarily watched it, but they've clicked it at least. I guess the thumbnails at least grab attention, even if people don't stick around. <laughs> but it's interesting. I think the thumbnails definitely do help your videos. I've not played Fortnite Lego, that's the newest Lego game. I think that's got online co-op, hasn't it? Algorithm. Yeah, I guess algorithm pays a part, but I do think the thumbnails definitely help. I, I, I tell you what, I have played, Dan. I've played, um, I've played Lego Skywalker Saga. And say what you want about the new Star Wars films. The the game, the, the Lego game, is good. <laughs> With all the nine movies. The, the open world's good. I enjoyed that. What time are you streaming, Dan? Lego Minecraft. You like that one, Alien. Hey Jason. I'm on my phone playing on the couch, then I can watch both streams. Oh yeah, you're play you're also watching um Red Chaos is Evil Within stream, aren't you? Have you played Evil Within, Dan? I may have asked you that before. Like I say, I'm not paying any attention to the plot. I really probably should. It's not like it's important, but it might help me know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'll just follow this green arrow. Are you not watching him no more, Chaos? Batman, you mean my cat, don't you? <laughs> it's fine. He was actually laying on this pillow that I'm sat on now, so this pillow's a nice and warm. He's actually gone. <laughs> he, he moved when I sat on the pillow. He's probably eating biscuits. Yeah, I've played. The I streamed it on my channel back when nobody ever came to my streams. <laughs> Maybe I'll stream it again one day on the harder difficulty, nightmare difficulty. I think it is. Yeah, I enjoyed the first Alan Wake. Have you played the first Alan Wake? Ender Dragon. He's in Minecraft, right? I've never played Minecraft, but I know the characters. Right, where the hell am I going? To there. Yeah, I, I only played Eva with... I mean, sorry, I only played uh, Alan Waite recently, though, like, a few months ago. And I really liked it. There was one part, or two parts in particular, that were a bit annoying, like a bunch of enemies. <laughs> that kept killing me but for the most part it was a really fun I liked it it was around chapter 5 or so and it came like kind of a bit open world you just drive around that, that farmland that was cool then you had to fight there was like oh, there was like a was it a truck or a bulldozer that was possessed I glitched on out of the map on that bit and I didn't know if it was part of the game or not I was like what the hell is happening Hey, um, Dan, have you made any YouTube, any YouTube shorts yet? you got to make YouTube shorts, man. Get some YouTube shorts out, if you can. 
Like I make, uh, like I've made some pointless YouTube shorts, and they get like 400 views. It's like they're not even worth watching. <laughs> Thoughts on Joker? It, that's a musical, isn't it? Yeah, Ash, that second Joker film. I think I heard it so. Uh, with thumbnail. You mean thumbnail as in like just general YouTube thumbnails? Dan. Do you mean, Dan, do you mean just general YouTube thumbnails? Because I can kind of help you a little bit if you mean the thumbnails on YouTube. Okay, I, I guess. Do you have anything like a. Uh, uh, do you have anything to edit thumbnails on? Because I know a good free thing if you don't. It's actually a browser based as well. And you could probably play around with it. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube. I'm sure you're smart enough to figure it out to be honest. I need to be that farmer. Okay, well it's called photop.com so photo P-E-A like the vegetable photo P it's a free online Photoshop and you can there's templates to choose from and you can choose like YouTube thumbnail so all the dimensions are ready for you you just have to create it and if you really need guides how to use it you can find photo P guides it's the same as Photoshop on YouTube do basic thumbnails that's what I use for mine Yeah, um, the new Joker movie. I think it's a musical. Yeah, Photo P. Do that. Yeah, I, I think it would definitely help to have some thumbnails. Just make something. Because I didn't have access to any programs. I did. I, I wanted Photoshop, but I thought, well, I'm not paying for it. <laughs> And then I just came across that, I thought like, well this is Photoshop, free online browser based. You like General Grievous? I don't think I used him much, you know, in the Lego Skywalker saga when I played it. This reminds me of Mario 64, this bit. Okay, Ash, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you soon, yeah? Hopefully you can hang around later, uh, longer next time. I know you're in a different country. It's for shorts, Dan. I'm going to go eat now. I'll speak soon. Okay, yeah, it's for shorts. Yeah, don't, you just, you, they're not too tough. I only learned how to do them the other day. I'll look out for your live stream, though, when you're on. Uh, Alien, have you played Skywalker Saga? If you like Star Wars, yeah, um... Alien. Oh, what colour gun do I need? I think I need a uh, green one. Yeah, that's uh, Grievous. You fool! <coughs> <laughs> yeah, Alien, have you played uh, Lego Skywalker Saga? It's a good game. Look at this big reflective building, Alien. Did you tell me what country you're from before? Where are you from? I wonder if I've got any more of those extra red bricks. Hmm, okay. Wow, you get a lot of red bricks in the game.
Ooh. Uh, this is a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice location. <laughs> it's easy to get addicted to collecting these little Lego studs in these Lego games, but to be honest, you kind of don't need to do it because when you get the uh, the multipliers, it will give you a bunch just for collecting a couple anyway. Right, where the heck am I going? So it looks like I'm going with that green. He's very aggressive. Yes, he is. Which is your favourite Star Wars film, Alien? Okay, I need the farmer chase. Apparently, I've got to go into the museum and uh, steal a mechanical T-Rex. I think that's what I'm doing at the minute. Stealing a mechanical T-Rex. Tomorrow, I'm going to finish uh, Tomb Raider, I think, on New Game Plus difficulty. Get that done, out of the way. Hopefully, I'll get them two trophies for using no medkits. Hey, Nuan, how you doing? How you do? <laughs> Did you say, how you doing? Because I was reading your name. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to see you. Love the new snazzy haircut. Very fresh, very trim and tidy. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. I've just eaten my food and... Eating my food and just going to play some Lego. Chill on Lego for a bit. And then tomorrow I'm going to finish uh, Tomb Raider on the hardest difficulty. Finish it off. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. The graphics on this game are pretty nice, actually, you know. This game's been pretty fun so far. Phantom is heart is dark, pardon. <laughs> I saw Phantom streaming yesterday, actually, Alien. It was streaming Eva within. I wonder if there's anything up this pole. Surely I can climb up there, somehow. What are you up to, Nuian? Wait, I've got to use the chicken. Hey, Pagan, how you doing? Oh, look at this. This is fun. This is going to be fun, this. So I'm breaking into a mu Breaking into the museum by... Uh, Flying over onto the roof with a chicken. This is a bit like Zelda, almost. Hey, New Yan, I'm gonna start streaming Nintendo 64 games soon, hopefully. My friend's gonna come over and sort out OBS for me with a microphone. I'm picking up game audio, but not the microphone. I'm not sure what the problem is. He'll be able to sort it out for me. Then I can stream uh, Nintendo 64 emulators at least. How are you doing, Pagan? General Grievous has an evil heart. Yeah, he is a bad guy. Just average streaming. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come over. I can stream, stream Zelda, stream uh, Banjo Kazooie, and other old platform games. I wish Ronnie was here because he, Ronnie, my friend Ronnie that plays and streams, he loves T-Rexes and he would love to see this T-Rex. Is the microphone okay? Am I speaking loud enough? I thought there would be something hidden behind here. What are you streaming at the minute, New Year? Mike Northeast unlocked. Good old Mike. This is basically GTA Lego.
trying to figure out what time we're... Yeah, it can be tough to figure out what games you want to play in the stream, right? That's why I'm trying to set up so I can stream Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo games. So it just gives me a bit more <laughs> variety rather than just what's on PlayStation at the minute. There's plenty of games on PlayStation to play, but I think some classic Nintendo games would be pretty interesting. There's a lot of games that don't appeal to me on PlayStation. Oh, you can use that button to switch characters. Okay, I didn't know that actually. You've played Lego Ninjago. What's that? Is that a good game? Lego Ninja you go. I know it's a ninja game. Breaking into a museum. The Colossal Fossil Hustle. Morrow. <laughs> Get the combat on this. Game. The combat on this game is kind of funny. What's Morrow, Tiger? Yeah, I've, uh, I played Lego Indiana Jones uh, on PS3, I enjoyed it. It had all four films in it. Yeah, Lego Indiana Jones was fun. I played Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Jurassic World, um, Lego Skywalker Saga. Uh, what else? This Lego City Undercover is pretty fun, honestly. Very first master of the wind. Right, let me uh, water this. I don't know what this does. Okay. So I guess if I grow five pots of plants, I'll get something for it. Maybe a piece of that police badge that you can get on each level. Hey, Nuyan, so you said earlier you had that drink, right? Peanut butter and bananas. What did you have it, wasn't it like milk or water? Remained a ghost after death. This car holds the world's speed. Ah, okay. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out. This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found in the Bluebell mine. It discovered by Silas Fletcher when it fell on top of him. It was kindly donated. So I have to put a lever, that uh, that wheel on something. Let's 
find out where we put this. Uh, see you, alien. Take care. Thanks for popping by. My little faithful follower, alien. Oh, it goes over here. There's even a green arrow showing me where it goes. It goes in there. Oh, who was asking me about F1? Someone asked me about F1 the other day. I need to go through some of my old videos and try and see what I can make shorts out of. So what did that do then? It made the car drive off. Oh, a dynamite, <laughs> dynamite vending machine. Hey Amelia, how you doing? Are you alright? You still at work? Just thought I'd pop on Lego for an hour or two. How did I get in there? Mm. I need a key. What's this? <clears throat> of course, and it's a raining day. Yeah. That's what, you know when it's like, that, that, I don't like when it's raining when I'm trying to exercise. When it's like really grim and because I don't like to turn the lights on in the daytime if I can help it <laughs> and just use you know just use natural light and when it's like grim and rainy and there's no light in the house <laughs> and I'm doing my exercise in near darkness I hate that <laughs> like I say uh, I'm I'm not doing too bad actually at the minute I'm I'm just getting on with things you know just getting on with things. People are just popping in and out of this stream, talking, doing whatever they're doing, <laughs> and I'm just chilling on some Lego. So, actually, I've got, you know that uh, Zelda video you made that was like an hour long that I watched? That's kind of like some of the best bits, is that kind of like some of the best bits from the Zelda playthrough that you've done, would you say? <laughs> You're exercising in the dark, it's not out motivating. No, that's cool though, that you did that. I'd love to make some videos again. I've not, I don't really tend, like I said, I don't tend to do videos as much. I've been focusing on the, you know, I've just been learning to do the short, so that's enough progress for me. <laughs> but I should probably start trying to do videos again at some point. just a matter of like what to make a video of you know because you kind of get you kind of do stuff from streaming and then you do the shorts but so streaming's like longer and interactive shorts are small and quick but videos I'm trying to like 
Like, what's the place of the video? You know? Because at the minute when I upload videos, it's just kind of like gameplay clips that I've saved and I just upload them. I guess that's kind of what you can do with them. I did some other cool stuff. That was your first time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a good video, I was. I liked it, to be honest. This is over years old. It's kind of like... It's kind of like... Yeah, like you say, put, putting your personality to the front along with the gaming. Because obviously when there's streams, there might be quieter parts. But if you put it into like a condensed video, you can choose all the interesting parts, can't you? Big C4. Hey, Big C4. I, I don't know you, do I? Are you new here? How are you doing? Big C4. There's another where I fight the Oops monster. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're new here. Th uh, thanks for joining. Have you played this game, M uh, Big C? There's another where I fight the Oops monster. There is a part of that <laughs> that you just love. I'll have to look for that. Right, this is a. S You've played this a little bit, okay. I was going to say you can help me. <laughs> you can help me if you've played it. What kind of games are you into, Big C? So that electrocutes me, so I can't do anything with that. Oh, you can break these, okay. Nice to meet you, Big C. Oh yes, is that you? That it could be, it could be Amelia. It won't be the first time they've changed their name. Probably so. <laughs> you know, actually, it's pretty interesting the characters they put on. See, I, like I didn't expect there would be an astronaut in the game and a farmer. <laughs> and I guess it's the undercover. Shoot that switch. You never, you know, I never thought, Amelia, that um, Lego would be a game that you could get streamer brain on. <laughs> you can get streamer brain on this. Okay, so I guess I can jump on it, yeah, jump on there. I wish Ronnie was here because he loves T Rexes and I'm meant to be stealing a I'm meant to be stealing a, a yeah, T Rex. And he loves T Rexes. <laughs> Notorious with streamer brain. It's also because this is kind of a open world one, you know, and you can kinda of do anything. Yellow devil okay. Well, I can't afford it yet. That's kinda of funny in there, look that little diorama of the moon. That's kind of cute. What, Big C? Where's the uh, farmer? I'm gonna... Grow all these flowers. Oh, what's that down there? That looks kind of like a collectible down there. What is this? 
like a stone or something. I the killer clowns and I yeah I figured that out like about five minutes ago <laughs> figured that out a while ago <laughs> how did I get up there now I figure that um okay it's telling me to go down here Hey Lem, how you doing? Dan was here earlier. You had a good day, Lem. Nice of you to stop by. Yeah, Dan was here earlier and we was we was talking about like thumbnails and stuff. Yeah, I'm doing fine, thanks. Just uh, having a bit of a chill out on Lego. Dan says he's going to play Resident Evil 3 Remake for the first time soon, so that'll be pretty fun. Seeing him play that for the first time. Yeah, I says, uh, we were sort of saying, you know, you need to get creating some thumbnails. <laughs> Not the thumbnails on our hands, <laughs> the thumbnails for the photos, you know, on your stream. That's my cat opening the door behind me. Come on, skinny. She can open the door, but I wish she could shut it. She can't shut the doors. The paws are not smart enough to do that. Right, where am I going? I'm lost. Yeah, <laughs> meow. This is the historic Lego City tram. <laughs> it sounded funny. Oh yeah, you jump on the oil. Are you from the UK, Lem? I assume you're from the UK. Let's just check around here before I do anything else. Before I go in there in progress, let me just check if there's anything over here. Oh yeah, there is stuff over here. My cat looks nothing like Joe Biden. You're from London. Nice. I'm from good old Nottingham. You... Hey, what's this? Hey, Lem. So, whilst you're here and I can ask you questions pretty easy. Oh, I've picked a block up. Um, what kind of consoles do you play? Or have you played in the past? You knew it. <laughs> yeah, we figured it out right a lot earlier. What am I supposed to be doing with this? Uh, oh, I'm taking it to that glowing thing, I guess. To the... What the? Pretty much the mall. What's your favourite then? Do you like N64? Out of interest. Oh, okay, that's what you meant to do. Okay. Currently use Xbox and PS. What, PS5 or PS4 or. Amelia's a cool detective. She figured. She cracked that cave's light instantly. <laughs> I think Amelia would be good at LA Noir, like detective game. You can ask a question, but if it's stupid, you're going to get blocked, so. Make your question count. Do I like? No, I don't like furries. 
you ignored my orders, you're probably about to take something expensive again. Are you sure this is connected with Fury? Yes. Vinny's asked me to get the museum's robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex for someone. It can't just be a coincidence. That does sound like Fury style. All right, I'll let you follow this one, McCain. I can't wait to stream uh, N64 stuff, to be honest. N64 stuff's going to be really fun to stream. Is that... Oh, cause, do you know, to, to be honest, I've been wanting to play like Majora's Mask in Zelda for a while again. But I've never felt the need. I've never felt the need. But if I can stream it and like keep footage of the games, it feels more worthwhile. Yeah, it feels like... You know what I mean? It just feels like more worthwhile if you can stream it and chat to people as you stream it and because if I was just to play if I was just to play the game myself it would be fun but it would feel a bit a waste of time because I've already done it by myself that much but if I can stream it and share that that would be fun and like keep a record of it on video that makes it more worthwhile You liked Wii U, you mean, before the Switch? Is that what you're saying, Lem? You liked the Wii U. Wii U was actually underrated. I liked Wii U too. It would be nice to have a Switch. Believe it or not, I don't have a Switch. Believe it or not, I don't have a Switch. I've played them, played my friends, but I don't own one. Teleport, cool. You have a friend that's going to create a random seed. Oh, that would be awesome. That would actually be really good when you're going to play it, obviously. That would be sick. So it's going to like randomise the items, yeah? Are you good at are you good at the original NES Zelda game, Amelia? The Nintendo Super NES and Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, I love the Super Nintendo. I love the SNES. Let's let's call it what it is, a SNES. We call it SNES, but I think in America uh, they say SNES. We call it SNES, SNES. <laughs> You haven't played in years. You have to make it a bit too. So, as far as you're aware, as, as far as you're aware, Amelia, it's basically like the game as it should be, <laughs> because it's been years since you played it. What are these things here? Yeah, I love the Super Nintendo, and I love the N64. In fact, I could stream even SNES games. Isn't that amazing? I actually have streamed SNES games before. Actually, I've streamed SNES games before, but um, I didn't have my mic or anything then. So I'd like to stream with the microphone. Lamb, what are your favourite SNES games? I'll tell you what some of mine are. Mine's uh, Super Star Wars. I love the Super Star Wars trilogy on SNES. They are such good games. They're t tough, but they're good. I love them. They actually released Super Star Wars, the original on PS4 but they never released the other ones. It's a bit jarring that is. Uh... Yeah, so it would be called stream. I want I would like to stream uh, a link to the past as well. Legend of Zelda a link to the past. That let's hell yeah, let's do it. Legends of the Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, hey even Link's Awakening Game Boy, let's go for it, let's do it, <laughs> all the Zelda stuff. I've never played um, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages, the Game Boy Color Bombs, I have never watched a play of them or anything but I always thought they looked kind of cool, maybe I could play something like that, what eventually. I can remember being a kid and I got my Game Boy from the shop 
and I sat on a bus coming home trying to play the Game Boy and I could not see anything because the bus was like jolty my eyes were like jumping around in my head the Game Boy colour was jumping around in my hands and I was trying to play I could not see a thing Oh, Minish Cap. I played Minish Cap on an emulator a long time ago. What the hell was that thing? I played Minish Cap a long time ago on an emulator and I enjoyed it. I couldn't tell you anything about it now, I don't, cause I only played it once, but I had fun with it. And I remember there being some really cool music in it as well. Oh, I can't do that yet, okay. Well, yeah, I, I liked Minish Cap. It's kind of an underrated one, that. What SNES game do you think I should play, uh, Lem? If I was going to stream a NES game, I mean a SNES game, what do you think I should stream? <clears throat> One second. built the T-Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens. <laughs> I'm back. My brother called me. He wants me to take the dog for a walk for him tomorrow at a certain time of day. Because <laughs> they're not going to be home. Okay, so that'll actually motivate me to get my workout done tomorrow. Quick get my workout done so I can get the dog walked. Uh, Super SNES. Oh yeah, I love, I love Metroid for the SNES. I've finished it once maybe. That would be good to stream. I'd get lost. Super Castlevania, yeah, you, see, you know I've played Castlevania, I love that game. You can't be Super Mario World <laughs> original. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I beat Super Mario, I think I beat Mario, the original Mario on the NES. Well, it was the Super Nintendo version on Mario All Stars. I did beat that once, I think. Only once ever in my life. You know, I'm not a massive fan of the original Mario, the very first. I know that's blasphemous to say, but I prefer the Mario. I prefer Mario 3 or Super Mario World. Really, really, as in what? Yeah, I beat it, but I can't remember if I used the, you know, the warp pipes. <laughs> I prefer uh, I prefer Mario 3 or Super Mario World to the first. But I did finish it just once, but I don't remember if I used the warp pipes, I bet I did. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it, but I just think the other Mario games that came afterwards uh, were better, you know? I just think they, the Mario games evolved much better. Like Mario 3 is wicked. Hey Power Slave, how you doing? You worked out today. You've been to the gym today. Please say yes and motivate me. So I'll work out tomorrow. It's nice to have you here, Lam. I know you're usually in Dan's stream, but it's not streaming at the minute, is it? <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> you're the totally opposite. So you love you love the bare bones. You love the bare bones, Mario. Yeah. Hey, did you play? Okay, Lem. Lem, did you complete the lost levels? <laughs> did you play lost levels? Lost levels was tough, wasn't it? There's some crazy jump shafted on that game. I played the Mario All Stars version though of that, and it was tough. So you're not a fan of the more modern Mario games, Lamb? Oh yeah, um, Power Slave, I liked your short. Lara Croft epic moment. I just happened to tune in at the moment, the epic moment. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Ah. <laughs> I haven't played it since you was a kid. <laughs> it got it got dislikes. Dislikes. People still use the dislike button on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't know people still use the dislike button on YouTube. I, I, I know there's a way you can view dislikes, there's like a extension, but I choose not to look. Because most people, you know, you can literally upload videos of kittens and puppies online and people dislike it. There's always going to be people who will dislike things, so I don't really care about the dislikes. You know, there must be a lot of shorts with a lot of dislikes, honestly, because a lot of shorts, you know, there's so many shorts out there that are pointless. You know, shorts are kind of pointless at the end of the day. <laughs> In YouTube studios. Can you? I never looked, to be honest. And I don't want to look. <laughs> I don't want to look. I bet I've got quite a lot. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I mean. You can literally upload a video like of a cat or a puppy and people will just like it. Some people are just sick, to be honest. There's some very miserable people out there. I imagine them like, just being like these really depressed teenage boys with like, too much testosterone. That's what I imagine a lot of them being. I'm tickling a, a dinosaur. I actually uh, started watching your... You got one, so let me read that. I'm going to set off and make food, but enjoy the game and I'm sure I will see you in Dan's at some point. I see... Yes, yes you are always there. Hopefully you're popping again here soon, it's nice to chat to you with the voice rather than having to type but yeah I'll, I'll see you in Dan's stream probably talk about more Mario things <laughs> I don't let it bother me <clears throat> it's still an interaction and it counts as view and interaction so yeah that's true Amelia it's still even if they dislike it it still counts as engagement so it actually still <laughs> see you Lam it still counts as engagement even if they dislike it so they actually pardon me they may as well actually be hitting the like button they may as well as actually be pressing like if they press dislike because it helps the channel <laughs> that's the funny thing it may as well be a like because it's helping the channel still yeah so what I was going to say Dan was um, I started watching your uh, Metal Gear Solid stream what we how was you streaming that damn what was you using to stream Metal Gear Solid because I saw like the windows I assume it was on a PC I was wondering like what you was doing like what kind of setup you was using to stream I'm gonna start like I was saying to Amelia Dan uh, not Dan power slave sorry I'm sorry for been calling you Dan um, I was I'm gonna um, stream n64 stuff soon 
I apologise if I'm calling you Dan. I've got the name Dan in my mind now. Yeah, we'll take it and still push the video because of the interaction. They think they're hurting you, but they are not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I actually had somebody a while ago. Or, and they must have had lots of multiple accounts and they were going through like a lot of my videos like this is a year, few years ago they was going through like all my videos like we're putting like 12 dislikes on them can you imagine being sad enough to have like 12 dud accounts can you imagine having 12 dud accounts to dislike one person's stuff how pathetic must you be Dan the man the white and drives the white van. Ah, oh, where am I going now? I forgot to do something to this. I think I've got to get in this central part. Hey Ronnie, you're in time. I was just saying earlier on, I wish Ronnie was here because dinosaurs. You've missed me tickle. I had to tickle this dinosaur's body with a feather. <laughs> and it did something, but I don't know what it's done. Yeah, I tickled it with a feather. So I've got to do something in here now. Yeah, Ronnie's Ronnie keeps streaming uh, Jurassic World Evolution. You know the strategy game. We have to create the parks with the dinosaurs in he's trying to get all the achievements trophies on that game they're pretty relaxing streams honestly <laughs> I was watching him last night for a while have you b uh, been to the gym today uh, power slave so what did that do I pulled I pressed that button Press that and it did so I was too busy chatting to see what it did. I really need to pay attention when I press buttons and pull levers. That kept happening on Tomb Raider. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna work out tomorrow. I'm gonna work out tomorrow. I've had two days off. <clears throat> Felt a bit depressed, honestly, the last couple of days. <laughs> but tomorrow I'm gonna force myself to work out. What did that leave? What did that do when I pressed that thing? I really should have watched. I kind of want to watch my stream back on my phone. On New Game Plus, uh, I've reached the Egyptian. I might be on the th third Egyptian level. I've got to be getting close to Natla's mines. I've got to be getting close to Natla's mines. Just go watch this smooch, it will, yes, it will cheer me up. I'm going to have that on tomorrow when I work out. That's, like I say, I always watch those RPG videos when I work out. I really need to remember what I was meant to be bloody doing. Mm, I should pay attention. I kind of want to watch the stream back on my phone to see what I was doing. I need to get this T-Rex stolen while um, Ronnie's here. I oh, know, I'm kind of dreading Atlantis though, because of that bit you showed me with the three. We saw that weird sphinx yesterday. Oh yeah, the sphinx that looked like an alien had built it, yeah. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Yeah, Atlantis, um... That room that you showed me with like the three enemies in, I'm kind of dreading that. What did that switch do? I don't think I can pull any of these. Can I? No, I can't pull any of these. I should maybe watch my stream back and see what that, that, that button did. Because otherwise I'm going to be here forever.
me uh, mute my own voice so I don't hear it. <laughs> Does anyone else here have like? Does anyone else here not a big fan of their own voice? To be honest, I've kind of grown to like my voice a little bit, but uh, there was a stage where I couldn't bear to hear it. I guess it's quite natural for a lot of people to not like the sound of their own voice. Might start Tomb Raider 2 next week. You know, yeah, I notice you've not like uploaded or streamed or anything uh, lately, Power Slave. Because I was um, looking at your channel earlier, and I thought, oh, you've not really streamed anything lately. Like you say, sometimes you can just not have the motivation, right? Hopefully, you feel okay there. Sorry, I'm not doing anything. I'm just watching my video back on my uh, phone so I can see what happened when I pulled that lever. Oh, it opened something up there. Okay. <laughs> my own stream came in use. Thank you, Ben, for streaming. You've helped yourself. So, <laughs> I've just helped myself. This is what it did. It opened something right over here. It would, I would never would have noticed that. I want to quickly get this dinosaur stuff sorted so Ronnie can watch it because he loves dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's natural for people not to really. Hey, you're talking of weird sphinxes, Ronnie. Look at this one. What, one of the reasons I want to play like the N64, oh what's this, like a puzzle. It's like an ank, an ank and a scarab. Quickly give me the scarab. Yes. <laughs> yeah but is that part of the objective? Yeah, that's true, Amelia. Yeah, I've had, like I've actually had a lot of people say that my voice is kind of relaxing, so I guess that's helped. <laughs> I like my own voice; it makes me horny. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very horny voice. <laughs> very horny voice. I think we also have to watch videos back to make shorts out of them. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I've got to do something here. Uh, is this random then? Because it's not like I've got any control. Is this? I think like this looks like it's random. I mean, I don't have any say in this, right? Like a duck head and the middle one. This is so confusing. Uh, what? Well, that looks right to me. In the middle, but I don't see. It. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can actually come in here. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. What does that do? Yeah, one of the reasons I want to stream N64 games is because I know a lot about them and I can talk a lot about them. So that's why I want to stream them. An angry, you sound like an angry Russian. Okay, Amelia. Hey, Luna. I don't know, you don't sound angry to me. Uh, 
Wait a second. Vodka. Do it. <laughs> Vodka. Okay, so yeah. <gasps> Did you hear that, Ronnie? I've got enough bricks to build the T Rex. That's a dip. That's a dip. Is that Diplodocus? <laughs> Let's build T Rex. Are you on the bus at the minute, Ronnie? Why haven't you had the motivation, Power Slave, to stream lately? You've just not been. Um, Look, T-Rex, build. It would be cool if I forgot to control it. Yes. Oh my god, I can ride it. Please, oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> it would be cool if you could walk around this city like this. Drink vodka and we're crowned in pyjamas. Oh, don't forget to ride it then. This, it would be good if you got to walk around and see. I fear I won't. Well, let's see. Maybe. Every day in Russia is vodka day. <laughs> Did you used to play Nintendo 64 Power Slave? Yeah, that did short didn't make me laugh though. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is cool. Please say I can ride it. Let me ride the T-Rex. Don't just be a cutscene. I don't think it's going to let me. I'm terrorising people. Oh my god, it's letting me ride it! I got the -Rex out of the museum. You better not hate it, Luna, because uh, someone that comes in my streams, Russia. <laughs> Don't let him see you say that. Well, look at this. I had no idea this was in the game. Rex riding. Instead of using a bus, to... <laughs> instead of using a bus to get home, Ronnie, you should use a, a T Rex skeleton. Keep running. The, <clears throat> there's good people and bad people in every country. Ox survival evolved. <laughs> that was cool. That's how you need to get home, Ronnie. Forget the bus. Get on a T Rex. That's what you gotta do, man. Get on a T Rex. You need to do a short um, power slave if you're doing some deadlift or squats. <laughs> Do some heavy squats or deadlifting. Do we sure? Now this game is death on my list. You need a camera. <laughs> Don't you have a phone? Camera phone. I've got a camera phone, but the camera's really bad quality. It's like really blurry. Well, it's not blurry, but it's very unsaturated colours. 
not good colour quality, not good picture quality. This looks like a little Jurassic Park car, this one. Hey, Chase, I've, I've got, got some great news. Oh, hey there, Don't you think it kind of looks like a, a Jurassic Park buggy? Where am I going? Uh, wow, right down there. Power Slave, are you interested in like the... Are you interested in like open world games like Horizon Zero Dawn? I did it Horizon Zero Dawn, but I kind of want to play Forbidden West. What but I just, you have you ever played those games? Actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So how you're undercover, undercover? Whoa! I wonder if it's based on the Safari. You've got Horizon, yeah. You know sometimes, right, I go, like, it's around the time that I will stream. It's funny because I used to just stream. I used to just stream and if no one came, it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me, you know. But now when I turn this stream on, I'm like, oh, I'm a bit worried in case no one comes to talk to me. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm used to chatting to people as I play now. I always get worried that no one's going to talk to me or show up. But people usually do. Like, people come in and out, which is fine. I like that. I don't mind that. But I'm worried that no one will show up. <laughs> yeah, uh, Power Slave. I'm kind of dreading Atlantis. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I could do the glitch to bypass Atlantis. You know that glitch that you can do that I told you about? Where you just skip the entire level. Now, it could be quite tricky because if I die, I'd have to do the first few enemies and leave us again. But if I could get it to work and pass the entire level, it would be worth it, I feel like. Maybe I'd, gi maybe I'd give it a few tries, and if I struggle, then I'll do the level properly. But I kind of I want to just do the glitch and bypass it. I need to find 16 aliens. There's 16 aliens hiding around in this game. I've got 17, I've found one. Oh, what's that? Flowers watered. Oh, okay. So there's 20 flower pots. I've got a <laughs> water around the city as well. Is you know the um the the crystals to the save crystals is there a save crystal near those three annoying enemies at least or do you have to repeat quite a lot of the level to even reach them because obviously you didn't stream new game plus so I didn't get to see where the crystals were you're making good progress uh, Ronnie on Jurassic, uh, Jurassic World. Yes. There's a crystal be- oh, okay, that's good then. At least there's a crystal before it. At least they weren't completely nasty and didn't give you a, a crystal. That would have been horrible. Uh, how do I get up here? Maybe I can't get up here yet. Maybe it's just not possible to get up there, yeah. Okay, so did you ever play Banjo Kazooie Power Slave? Yeah, get the DLC trophies and then get the platinum trophy at the end. I kind of like to do stuff like that. I wanted to do it with Tomb Raider 1, but the DLC trophies in un unfinished business are kind of glitched. 
she said be right back she said be right back so she's probably like just checking someone else out or busy at work but um yeah if you played banjo kazooie power sleeve because i do want to stream that hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, and did you play Banjo Tooie as well? Oh, yeah, I'm going down. What's that question mark? Is the question mark on the map? It's funny because Georgia that comes to this stream She got this game because she saw me playing it and she's nearly got all the tr she's nearly 100% of this game <laughs> I started the game before her and she's almost finished it and platinum it <laughs> She's been addicted to this game Oh Banjo 2 it was good. How come you never played the second one? You just never got round to it it came out. It came out April. Actually, it came out in April. So around now, I think it came out April the eleventh. You know, so technically tomorrow is it? Is it April the? Te I'm sure it came out April eleventh or something. Banjo Tooie. And um, I remember playing. It was around Easter time. Yeah. I'm going to check on Google in a minute. One second. I'm back, sorry about that. Yeah, Banjo 2 is actually really good, the second one is really good. Did you ever play Donkey Kong 64? Donkey Kong 64 was a massive game, ridiculously big, like for collectibles. I've only ever completed 100% Donkey Kong 64 once in my life, and that's when I was a kid. Why won't this stray cat come near me? Which stray cat's that? You mean near where you live there's a stray cat? <laughs> Does it come near your house or something, the stray cat? 
Have you, have you been feeding it? Have you, have you fed him anything? If he's stray, he might just be scared, you know? He's in your garden all the time, you, don't you think he's got an owner then? I mean, if he's a stray, you never know, he might have been abused by people, so he might be scared of people. Have you managed to get close to him? Not at all, then. If it's a stray cat, yeah, he could have been abused, or maybe if it's a male. If it's a male and he's not been snipped, that can sometimes make them a bit unfriendly and they don't want to be near people. But have you fed him? Have you fed him anything? Because if you've been feeding him, he might slowly start to come around to you. Uh, can I not get another dynamite stick? Okay, there it is. There's a cat that comes over to us, he doesn't have a collar and we give him a bit of food. He runs away every time, but does he come back and get the food when you've gone? If you leave the food there, will he go back to get the food, at least? I mean, if he looks healthy or not, does he look healthy? I mean, if, he's, if he looks healthy enough. As long as, he's get, as long as you give him a bit of food each day and he looks healthy enough then I guess I wouldn't worry too much about him. Some cats have like two homes you know, like they might have a house and they go to someone else's house. I've got four cats and one that comes over, I don't know if it's a stray or not. Hey here, how you doing? You had a good day? Oh, I don't think Ronnie's here. I don't think Ronnie's here now, but he would have loved this outfit. Lizard man. I'll have to show him that next time he comes in the stream. What is that up there? A ladder. I what I can do. How's your day been, Ian? And Ian, have you been to the gym today? What was the point of that? Take it slowly, I guess. It's a bit hard to see the uh, part you're holding on to. It's like there's some more ladders up there. Oh, yeah, there's stuff up there you can collect. Um, who's got a gun? It was a proper gun. Why do I keep falling off? Pretty tough this. If you go too far to the side you fall off. Ah, oh, okay. I'm glad I persevered with that. <laughs> I was actually going to give up. One stray cat actually ended up being my cat. 
he wouldn't really he wasn't really friendly or he wouldn't come near us until we had him neutered okay he had the nuts off If he does it. Oh, this is cool. Save in progress. Steebait. Interesting. Rainbow Road. Uh. One second. <laughs> wow, I've only done 16% of the old game. That's kind of crazy. 16%, jeez. Ah, the police car ran me over. Looks like I saw something shining over there. Is that a plant pot? <clears throat> There's got to be something good up here, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Thought that was gonna like be a beam stuff if I climb up. Oh there is a brick up there though. Two bricks. Three bricks. How do I get up here? How do I get up here? Uh, four bricks. Ah. <laughs> Could this be a way up? I don't know what this... Okay, let me... Do this. I'm trying to get up here. Oh, this is one of those pig things. Oh, you need the pig. I wonder if you can get on a speedboat, I bet you can. Oh, what's that there? I, wonder, I bet it doesn't let me jump up there though. No, it's not letting me jump up. A bit too high, how can I get up there? Oh, can, oh that's what you do. Silly. That's what you do. <laughs> on what percentage of the world George has done there? I know she didn't. I know she'd done quite a lot. She must be close to finishing this game. vehicle
thought that was a character at first. Hanker. Any new games coming out here that you're interested in? I'm not really up to date with a lot of the new games. No new ones. Mm. I mean, Sony says they're not releasing anything this year, didn't they? New like first party stuff. Sony haven't really got anything at the minute. Sony are lacking a bit at the minute, but the full fans toy aerial bot. All right. It, are you ordering that? Have you ordered it? Oh, what's this? Like a tree house or something? This looks interesting. I'll do a get up there, though. If one will be expensive because it has combiner pieces for soup. Alright. You must have a big shelf full of them, Transformers now. How do I get up there? Not sure how I can get up there yet. I'll leave that for now. A big shelf full of them. Oh, oh, what's this? Have you ever made a short on YouTube, Ian? No. A lot of shorts are not interesting, but like I say, YouTube kind of forces you. Ah, uh, hey, hey again. Is hey, back out. Is that an actual new account, or is it like the same account with a new like name? Or did you create a new account, or is it the same account but you've just changed the name? Hey Amelia, welcome back. Big C, you've already told me that you are Bacco. Did you forget already that you told me that you are Bacco? <laughs> you told me who you really are earlier. It's not a mystery anymore. <laughs> so and I'm saying, did you create an entire new account? Or have you just changed the username? You know who they are, you mentioned, you said who you were earlier. Um, okay. Hey Amelia, I don't know if you saw this bit earlier, but I was riding on the back of a skeleton T-Rex. It was pretty cool that bit. I was riding on the back of a big T-Rex. Pretty cool. Shame you didn't get to ride it around the city for longer. I 
Hey Amelia, Power Slave said that uh, he's got a stray cat keeps hanging around his garden, but it won't go near him. It won't go near him. Uh, but he leaves feed, food for it. I said to me, it may maybe. Um, Oh yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> I says to uh, him, you know, maybe the cat has been abused in the past. Maybe that's why it won't go near him, or maybe if it's a male, it's not been done. Because I know my, one of my cats that was a stray, he was, hadn't been done and he wouldn't come near me. He didn't want to come near me. Left, right, up, down. Left, right, up, down. Yeah, you have to. Tr you do have to earn it. I can remember my cat. Even when we took him in for a long time, he didn't like you to stroke his belly. You'd get nasty if you stroked his belly. But now he lets you. You know, he lays there with his legs wide open and lets you rub all his belly and everything. Apparently, if a, apparently if a cat lays on the back and lets you rub the belly, that's like the, one of the biggest signs that they trust you. Cause it's like re they're really exposed. You want the fire department yet? Uh, almost, baby. I'll be there soon. Good. I want to get this over and done with. Go to the fire, the fire department. You are family to them, yeah. This kind of reminds me of that Spider-Man game where you could go around New York. Hey, Chase, I've got some great and you can go through the big park in the middle. I wonder if you can go on top of that gigantic uh, crane over there. Are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over. So, what you up to? I'm sorry, I forget if I've asked you this question, Amelia, because I have someone else as well. But did you ever play uh, Banjo Kazooie? I ask a lot of people if they played certain games but I tend to forget because I speak to that many different people. <laughs> so I forget. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye aye! Over and out! Fishing rod. Get ready. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that. Uh, I love Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. I guess I've already done this because it's given me a blue stud and not a brick. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, one of the reasons I want to stream N64 games as well, because I know them very well. And there's a lot I can say about them. A lot of little tricks and stuff that I can do and explain. My PlayStation's a bit buzzy at the minute. What's that up there? I wonder how you get up there. There's still a lot of things I don't understand on this game yet. Oh, unless I can float down there with a... Off of... Yes. Float off of there with a chicken. Yeah, okay, that's what I've got to do. Oh, Amelia, I will have to show you... Um, okay. My niece, she actually has an Etsy shop and she does a lot of gaming artwork um, like lino prints they're like hand carved it's hand carved artwork and some of it's like personalised or like limited print and um, yeah I'll have to send you a link or something so you can check, just check the stuff out there's some nice Zelda artwork as well. Uh, 
Um, I thought this would have been the way to go, but it's just led me up here and not much else. I'm missing. I got to be missing something. And let's go and climb up over there. Looks like I might have to. Do I come this way? Oh, hang on. There's a wire on top of there, there. Your coffee mug with logo on it, that's cool. Is it your actual, like, YouTube uh, logo on the mug? I'm not sure how you get over there. Let's go back and explore the other side. Maybe the other side will be able to... Actually... What's with this? Yes, you'll have to. A motorbike. Let's get a motorbike. Oh, you can use a skateboard. I forgot about that. Business. That's a good idea, Amelia. I could do that. Let me uh, get it, actually. I can get the link and put it in my chat. I think when it comes to these Lego games, it's best to do the open world stuff once you've gone through the story, as I say because um, you'll have unlocked all your abilities pretty much by then so then you can just kind of grind the open world stuff and finish it with all the stuff unlocked that's what I did on Star Wars These uh, lime coloured little Lego studs look kind of tasty. I kind of want to eat these, they look nice. Citrusy. I kind of like the fact that there's no fast, well, actually there might be a fast travel mechanic but I'm not really using it. The world's big but it's not so big that I feel like I'd need to use a fast travel. I'm still trying to learn my way around it. Lime and lemon polos, oh yeah. Yeah they like lime and lemon polos. Fire engine, fire department, okay.
Yeah, we get that link. So what's what's that guy's name called? Again, who created Metal Gear Solid? It's um, what's his name? I forget it. The guy who made Metal Gear Solid. You know, probably now. The guy that made Hideo Kojima, that's it, yeah. So, Hideo Kojima, he actually retweeted on, my niece's artwork that she did of one of his games. He actually retweeted it a while ago. So, so he has his approval. I assume a shop's still open at the minute. Rating, oh, rating. She has a a rating of five. I guess it's out of five. I don't know. I guess it is. It's like um and four hundred and ninety nine reviews. Oh, she's close to five hundred. Five star rating, five hundred and ninety nine reviews. Four hundred ninety nine reviews. Sorry. So I'll get the link. Put it in the chat. I wonder what her latest work is. Oh, she's done some Blade Runner. She's done a Lon Lon Milk artwork. Oh, it looks like she's done a, a print of a Zelda potion bottle. New, she's done all sorts of stuff. I'll send you the link. Oh, Last of Us inspired. Okay. Uh, how do I get the exact link to put in the... Um, the exact link. Let me just start this objective while I. Uh... <laughs> Well, you'll see her, uh, I mean, she's, actually, she is good at art. She does do art. Like, these are, like, lino prints, and she'll carve them and print them off. But she's a good artist, and she probably could do stuff like that. But I'll show you what she's, uh, got. She actually did a commissioned piece of artwork for, you know, Jason Momoa. Not for him, but for one of his friends. <laughs> a while ago. What I might do is I'll just tell you a username. I'll just tell you what a username is. Hang on, is that... Oh, okay, I found like a copy link, I think. A link. I can't just find like a regular link to share. I'll just type it in the... I'll just type a name in the chat and you'll find it. In fact, if you just go Google and you type in this username, you'll find her at the top. He looks old for 40. Okay, this is an Etsy uh, name. If you just type that into et into Google, just put just put Lou Sakura Etsy. She's like at the top, five star rating, four hundred and ninety nine reviews at the minute. And you'll see all of the different stuff that she's done.
So this is a, this is an actual mission I'm on now. <laughs> I like the noise these little space boxes make. So close encounters here. Up, left, down, right, okay. Yeah, I think she's done like a Zelda potion, one of her ones that, one that I saw at the top, like a Zelda potion. She's done a long, long milk one. She's also done a Wind Waker inspired one. That's a big piece, that one is. Big piece of art, that one is. She sends all over, she has been sending all over the world, by the way. She sends all over the world. Yeah, she's trying hard with it, a uh, little business. You know what the government's like, wanting to tax little businesses. <laughs> you make a bit of money, but then they just want to tax you anyway. Well, yeah, she's okay. She's uh, make she's she's doing enough, but she has to pay for her materials, of course. Let's just say she's still working in a coffee shop. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Gain access to the garage and retrieve the uniform, okay. Don't know what that did. Yeah, it's funny isn't it, they're like... They just get involved with everyone's little businesses. That's why they want everything digital, isn't it, as well. They want everything digital, because they don't want anyone to make any side money at all. They want to have their hands in our pockets. That, I kind of hate it. You know when you see all these things, they're like success stories that they push online. Like, oh, this person started their business and look how amazing they're doing it. But yeah, but you don't hear about other people that have tried to make businesses and fail. Because the government just want to tax you hard for making a tiny bit of money and you can't get started. She even had a, baking, a bakery business at one point that was doing well, but she couldn't get no money from it. She had customers, but it's just all the tax and stuff that comes with it. Apparently. It's like eBay, you used to be able to sell stuff on eBay and like it wouldn't matter. You know, you could just sell your own stuff on eBay and it wouldn't matter. But now even they've got like tax and stuff on that now if you make certain amounts. Ridiculous. Don't worry rich people, we're not going to be able to overthrow you just because we've made a thousand pounds. <laughs> how do I get inside this garage? Ian, do you know how I get inside this garage? Uh... 
Look at these warming themselves up on this fire. Oh, there's a thing here. Okay, I'm stupid. So I gotta shoot something. Cause it's giving me a gun. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, with, with Banjo Kazooie, there's some really interesting stuff I want to talk about when I stream it. There's a lot to talk about. With Banjo Kazooie, there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> I can't wait to stream that. I can't wait till my friend comes over and helps me sort the microphone thing out. Hopefully it's not going to be too I don't think it'll be too much uh, at work. Oh, I'm a fireman now, I just realised. Oh, this is cool, look. Look at my little Lego water. Innocent valve handle. Oh, a fire hatchet. Ah, oh, okay. Reflection looks good on the floor. That's kind of cool in the water, the little like reflection in the water. The Lego games graphics have actually really improved over time. I was watching a video of some old Lego games and they looked cool, but the graphics have definitely taken a, an improvement over the years. Especially like the landscapes and stuff. The landscapes look really nice now. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything with this now. Mm. I guess when you stream again, Amelia, it's going to be uh, rabbits finishing rabbits off. I noticed actually you are you're creeping up to like three hundred. You're creeping up to 300 subscribers, aren't you? Oh yeah, I don't. I can't remember which. Well, the thing is, the what are the with, tongue twisted. When it comes to the original Lego games, Star Wars, because there's less films in one game, the levels are longer. The levels are fleshed out, which makes them really good. In Lego Skywalker Saga, the levels aren't as big. The story missions are not... The story missions in Lego Skywalker Saga aren't as big or good, but I think it makes up for the the overworld is really good. The overworld, like open world stuff, I actually got really immersed in that, even though it was Lego. <laughs> A part of me would love to play it all over again, actually. I would happily play through all of that again. Oh yeah, I forgot about that Ian putting the fires out. <laughs> yeah, almost 300. You're doing well, Amelia. See, you only started last year.
must be that nice uh, personality you've got on camera. I can't believe it's nearly half seven here. It's because the sun's staying out longer. It's nice when the sun stays out longer, isn't it? Not as bloody depressing. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm in control of this. <laughs> Save the Lego firemen. Save them. This is a slow rescue operation, but it's working. <laughs> I'm really, I'm actually really hyped and excited to stream N64. <laughs> save Lego firemen, save the world, I know. Look at the Lego fire. Yeah, I'm really hyped. I think streaming Zelda Ocarina of Time will be really fun, honestly. Oh, I'm actually very excited to play that again. And Majora's Mask. Have you played Majora's Mask much, Amelia? Did you finish it ever? A lot of, peop a lot of people were put off by Majora's Mask. A lot of people were put off by Majora's Mask, but I really like it. I know the time escapes people a little bit, but it's not that bad really when you when you realise. Oh, it's really not that bad, the uh, time aspect. Like, Ocarina of Time is the masterpiece game, but Majora's Mask just... Oh, it's still a great game on its own. Like, like, there's no other Zelda game that's been the same, quite the same to me as uh, Majora's Mask. Every character has their own individual little life cycle over the three days and you can alter their life, so change their routines and have impact on their lives. It's nice. And you can play the Song of Time backwards it slows time down so you're not in as rush as much of a rush so it's not as bad as people think when they hear about the time aspect and if you know your plan your plan of attack for the day the three day cycle you can get a lot of progress done before you reset time again excited to play that I guess I'm starting to get my, hey Amelia, I'm starting to get my hype back to work out now. After two days off, I'm starting to get that feeling back now where I want to do it. I knew it would come back to me. I knew the feeling would come back. To not give up with it. <laughs> I think Rex is like the main villain of the game. I think you can unlock you can unlock him at the very end, I guess. I finish this mission. He wants to come back to training because he ate all the ice cream. I actually ate. <laughs> I actually ate a whole, a whole Easter egg. <laughs> Go and eat some lunch. Catch you later. Yeah, I'll see you later, Amelia. I actually want to get back to training because I uh, ate a whole Easter egg. 
But yeah, you're close. Not ice cream, but I did eat an Easter egg. Honey, honeycomb Easter egg. Can I have a cat? How long have you been there, McCoy? Am I saving a cat from this burning building? This bit's kind of cool, where you're navigating this building. You could actually, they could make like a full Lego game kind of like this. You have heard all the secrets. You could, they could actually make a full Lego game like this. Where you're just going from like one puzzle room to another like this. So you know I'm going to stream N64 soon. I think he said he might pop, my friend might pop over this week. I just have to be, I just you've got to be careful with the, uh, with the um, audio on Zelda Ocarina of Time. I looked on Reddit and some people, some people said that when they play, when they play Ocarina of Time there's like a bit of a skipping sound in the game audio. But I, I, I did hear it but I think I managed to kind of reduce it by lowering the game audio a bit and it's not as apparent. But I'll see. Might not be that obvious when I play it. Well, it doesn't seem to happen with other games. What the hell? Uh, that didn't work. There are mods. Yes, I. I well, I actually downloaded a Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest, and that does make the dungeons a tiny bit different. So I've got the original version, and I've got the Master Quest version. Uh, but I think you can get like, you can get randomizers, but I don't know how you play. I don't know how you play them or access them. How do you get Zelda randomizers? Uh, yeah, but you can't play those on the N64 emulator, can you? You just play them like through the PC. I don't think you emulate them through N64, right? I'll have to look into it because if I can get the, I could, I'll, I'll probably play, I'll probably play them normally to begin with, and then I can play them randomizers. How do you drive this damn thing? Oh crap, there's a time limit. Oh crap. Oh, there we go. Almost. That, did that not count? Okay. But, but how do you play the randomizers? You don't play them through the N64 emulators, do you? Is it like its own thing that you... Its own... I don't know what you refer to it as, like, like its own thing that launches and plays. Oh god. How do you reverse this bloody thing? Oh, old X to reverse. Come on. Last time I had a gaming PC was 25 years ago. 
I mean, technically this is not, well, this PC next to me is not technically a gaming PC, but I can't imagine it would take a lot of game, I can't imagine it would take a lot of PC power to just stream an N64 modified game. Yeah, so that'll motivate me to get my work out done because I've got to take my brother's dog a walk afterwards. So yeah, I've uh oh yeah I've got to come here. Is that a th oh there's a little there's a little black cat there look. So the thumbnail isn't clickbait. Because it really is there. It will explode. <laughs> you save him. Okay, well we're all done. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food. I think my laptop would explode if I tried to I tried to stream through my laptop. I've got test streams unlisted for my laptop. It did pick up my voice. But it seemed a bit laggy the gameplay. <laughs> It is, it is not, it's not able to stream and play my laptop, it's that bad. But I, I've got a test stream from this desktop PC and the game seemed to run okay. The audio was okay but there was no microphone so just got to get that sorted and I'm off. I might even start making thumbnails, make thumbnails ready for the game. Sorry, I'm yawning. I'm, I'm yawning today. No sign of Doc today, McCoy. He must be busy. Busy with Robocop 3 or Planet of the Apes. I don't know which one. When's the anniversary of Robocop 3? It's not April 10th, is it? This room looks cool. The chief sulking in his office. I keep out of his way. Unless you want your first day to be your last. <laughs> it was Romeo Coffrey, yeah. This room looks nice with the blinds and the lighting coming through. That actually looks pretty cool. How they've done that. How did I get all there? Ah, must be something to do with it. What, Robocop 3 comment? If your comment didn't come through, maybe using naughty words that are banned. I've not banned any words or anything before Robocop 3. Maybe I can look on my phone. If I look on my phone, I should be able to see it. Oh no, I can't even see it on my phone actually. Console boy, ever since it will explode, Ben. It was a really bit, yeah, the comment didn't come through.
I fascinated him with the dagger from behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet uh, I bet the thing saw assassin, and I thought you, I bet you thought it was like using a rude word or something, so it like blanked it. Destroyed the work desks, you can leave now, there's no work to do. This music reminds me of a uh, like little big planet. Oh I guess you need to you need to use a chicken for this. There you go. Yeah this does remind me of little big planet this music. Da -da 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 -da. How do I get on top of there though? There must be a character who can double jump or something maybe eventually. Because there's a few areas in the game where I feel like you need to double jump. I'm almost certain this music's in one of the little big planets. Oh yeah, okay, so listen to this, right? Years ago, my friend, he had an Elgato and he, he, he recorded the first two levels of Little Big Planet 3, me and him playing it together co-op. And he recorded it on Elgato and he uploaded the first two levels on his channel. I also downloaded the video from his channel and uploaded it to my channel, okay? His video has got 300 views maybe. Mine has got like 31,000. And it's his video that I take, I took it and uploaded it to my own channel. Yet somehow mine's got the exposure from YouTube to have 31,000 views. Like, how does that even happen? <clears throat> Jade Crosby. I wonder if each treadmill unlocks somebody. Little big 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, but have you seen my oldest? You seen my most popular video? With 80, 80, 80k views. It's not even a good video. It's just like Super it's Mario 64 recorded off the TV with bad camera quality. I think it's because it's like it shows you how to access uh, the red switch in Peach's secret slide. And I guess that's what's made people watch it. He's balancing an axe on his head. I've already done this bit actually. Haven't I? Or did I fall off like an idiot? Hey, you back, Dan? How you doing? Did you get a chance to see the thing yet? Or have you been busy eating? <sighs> yeah, it's just weird, like, the way YouTube pushes out certain things and not other things. Retro video games are among the most popular time wasters on streaming platforms. Yeah, that's why it would be good to stream uh, N64, honestly. Yeah, that's true.
Uh, I'm baffled. Like, why has it chucked me back out? You need serious help. I can try and help you. You can either ask a question now, or when I'm in your stream, I can right. type something up for you. I guess you found the YouTube template at least. The thumbnail whisper. Yeah, you found the template at least. Why does this... Okay, so what? I jump down here and it takes me out. I'm not following this. Why is it tossing my arse out of that room when I go in it? What's the catch? I'm sure there's something I'm missing. Is it the only social... Is, is this? Uh, technically, I do have a Twitter, but it's not really for gaming. It's just like... I mean, if you want to reach out somewhere else, well, we could probably arrange it if you want to ask me questions. <clears throat> I'll, I'll only charge you the most expensive, McCoy. <laughs> I'll only charge you the most expensive, right? I actually made Great Beyond's YouTube banner for him. Yeah, Twitter's for my radical political views only. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. When you're streaming, I'll... Uh, tell you where you can like message me I guess but if you want to ask a question here about anything I can try and help you a little bit hold oh I've got to knock these down with the water Old square to spray water at the clown faces. Pop all the balloons to complete the event. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, there's a timer. Damn, I didn't notice that. Need to sort. Okay, 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 Dan. I'll help you when I. I'll, I'll figure a way out to help you. Is this relaxing, McCoy, watching me spray these clowns' faces with water? Is that chilling you out? <laughs> oh, so you have to... Okay. Okay, I, okay, so I should be able to do it now. Go in that room without it booting me out. I was confused about that. <laughs> now we have the solution. What are your favourite retro games uh, to watch them, McCoy? What, like, what are some of your favourite retro games? Or if there's anyone else in the chat who's old enough to know what retro games are, what are your favourite retro games? Tell me. We need this discussion. It's a discussion that needs to be had. Oh crap. I didn't realise you get electrocuted if you get the combination on. 
pretty good security system. So what's that I've picked up? A key. A. McCoy, someone in here said that they didn't like Russia earlier. This says they don't like Russia. I said you better watch what you're saying, because one of my loyal fans is Russian. <laughs> True story, that. <laughs> Yeah, Shane Pat is not here to talk about Robocop as well. Uh, he lived. <laughs> yeah, McCoy pretended that he actually assassinated you. But it turns out he was lying. You are alive and well. Uh. Have you seen those like Zelda Ocarina of Time speedruns by the way where like they they kill they kill the Queen Goma in the first um in fact I don't think you even need to kill that boss anymore. But you can like glitch from near the beginning of the game to the end credits practically. And it's like uh, I don't really see that kind of speed run doesn't really interest me much because it's like you just miss the entire game. <laughs> I don't mind like speed runs where maybe you're playing the game and you might skip a level or two, you know, something fancy. But like skipping the entire game, it's like why even bother, you know? At that point, you're not really even playing the game at, at all. <laughs> I bet I'm going to need my G Fuel gamer drinks when I'm playing N64 emulators. Yes, Doc, I can be a fireman now. Put out fires. What do you think is the first N64 game I should stream? Honest opinion. What game would get me my first two minutes of fame, do you think? <laughs> Left, right, down, up. Teenage, what turtles in time? I've actually got a playthrough of that on my channel, you know, already. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in time <clears throat> on the SNES. I've actually got it, a playthrough of it. I had the version on PS4 where you could play co-op online with random people. Somebody called Octo Burn joined, and I played through with him. Never spoke to him. Never talked to him. <laughs> he just joined the game, I played through with him, and then I uploaded it. <laughs> wow, we've got to be everyone here. you got to be the crook, the, the fireman, the astronaut. <laughs> yeah, you just jump and kick things. I think you can turn like damage on, can't you? 
friendly damage. I always have that crap off there. He would have friendly damage on. So I guess Donkey Kong. Don't know Booga man. Did you ever finish Earthworm Jim one? I know there's two of them. Did you ever finish the first one? I never finished the first one. I always on on Earthworm Jim. I was lucky if I got past that second level where you're under the water and you're in that like ship thing in the water but if I did get past it I think the furthest I got was where he was like he was in that snot thing and you had to like kill that other thing that was like a giant snot ball oh and there's the oh it's the, the dynamite tub thing yeah I never finished it though that game Was it more difficult? It, I thought it was hard anyway, to be fair, because I couldn't, like I said, I, I never got anywhere on it. I know there was a level where you had to look after, was its name Pete? It was like this little dog thing. There was like this little dog thing and you had to like protect him and if he got hit or damaged you'd turn into that big ravenous creature and he would hurt you. And then there was that start level, but that's all I know. And I remember the level with the cat. I think, was that the end of the game? I don't know if I used cheats or something. There was like a lava level and there was like the cat in the background. You could see like the cat. I think it was a boss. I don't know if it was, I don't think that was the end of the game. Was it the end of the first? I don't know. Was it the end of the first? I think that was the end of the first world actually, that cat thing. Bit of sleazy 70s music for you there. Nice, your day you've been, Doc. Is there no other SNES games that you played, Tits? Surely you played more than just Donkey Kong. And when you say Donkey Kong, do you mean the actual original one? Because there's three of them, obviously. I played the first Donkey Kong game. And I played the third Donkey Kong. Double Trouble. No, what is it? No, it's. What's it called? The third one? It's got a subtitle. But you get Kiddy Kong and Dixie in it. Donkey Kong Country. I could stream Donkey Kong Country. I've actually got SNES games downloaded on my PC ready to stream. Technically I could just stream them now, no issue, but I wouldn't have the microphone, so... There's no point me streaming them until I get the microphone sorted. That's kind of the fun, interacting and talking. Uh, like I said, I really want to try and get it as well, so I can have like the the chat from YouTube overlaid on the game feed. I mean, there's some people who are not very clever who have managed to do it. I've noticed. So if they can do it, I think I can do it. You know, we need the quality good if we're going to do it.
some people say it's better to do it on Streamlabs OBS. Some say it's better to do it on just plain OBS. I've just got plain OBS at the minute. But maybe I'll try the other one as well. I don't know. They all the freaking same to me, but they're different apparently. The only Donkey Kong Country game I never really played was um, uh, the second one. I did play on an emulator years later, like as in the other year. I kind of found it uh, a little bit cheap. Like it was, it felt so much more trial and error than the other ones. It was kind of frustrating, and challenging, and not in a fun way. But I don't know. Maybe I should give it another try. I just know on the Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country 2 there was that level, like a swamp level and the music sounded like that Phil Collins song what is that Phil Collins song again? it's like in the air tonight I don't know what the lyrics are, I can't remember it but you know which one I mean it sounds like that on Donkey Kong Country 2 This water looks pretty good. Gor gorilla in the Swamp. Is that what it's called? Gorilla in the Swamp? His most popular song. <laughs> gorilla in the Swamp. Yeah, it's that Swamp one. I forget what the Phil Collins song is called, but it sounds like that. <laughs> in the swamp. <clears throat> I like Donkey Kong Country 3 where he was like fixing the boats. Do you know the song I mean, McCoy? Do you know which what music I mean from Donkey Kong Country 2, McCoy? Do you know which one I mean? Because. I'll play it on the I'll play it on the phone if you don't it just sounds like that Phil Collins song the boss said you should get on the water kid. You will, because I'll play it down the microphone. <laughs> also, did you ever see the Donkey Kong con Did you ever play Donkey Kong Country Returns, the ones on the Wii and Wii U. There's Tropical Freeze, they were good games, they were really good. Oh, I need the toilet in a minute. Right, I'm going to go to the toilet and then I'm going to play that music down the microphone.
sorry I'm back what's the what's amongst the worst episodes that ever existed sorry I didn't get to catch that message before it vanished can you repeat that please hello to everyone that's in the chat I don't know who's there but hello if you're watching hello <coughs> what's the word the vision of the hand What am I shooting exactly? Which, what program are you talking about? <laughs> Which program's that? True Detectives. Oh, I've never seen True Detective. <laughs> I think it's you, McCoy, with a radical social media. I bet it's you. With the radical political views, it's you, not me. You were pretending it were me that's got that social media but it's you. Mm -mm. Da -da -da. Jade Crosby, oh yes. We've unlocked Jade Crosby guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna be using Chase for the whole game. The only other character I want to use is that dinosaur. Is that dinosaur I unlocked. Thanks for paying the bit. Yeah, I did that. I did that short just for you, Justin. I did that short just for you, the bear from Tomb Raider. Okay, this is that music. Oh, no. let me. Can I? Can I pause this? I want to play that Donkey Kong music for you. Nintendo like puts the copyright on. Are you doing? Uh, actually, your name's like Justin. It's Grant. How are you doing, Grant? <laughs> yeah, it's Grant. It's not Justin. It's Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? What? I, I'm kind of... Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. <laughs> I'm dying for a Rose Tico to series, to be honest. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh, <clears throat> well... Really smartly dressed for cops. They're wearing black suits and they're standing by an unmarked black van and a limousine. I'm dying for a Rose Tico show, honestly. So. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase? Yes? Help! Natalia? Natalia? That was Shakespearean, weren't it, with um, Rose? What did she say? She, she was like. This is how we win. Uh, what did she say? Not by... Not by fighting what we ate. By saving what we love. That's how we win. Wow, you jump, you jump high out of the speedboat. That was so corny, that rose bit in The Last Jedi. <laughs> I 
Isn't the new Witcher the new Witcher season or something meant to be bad as well? Because even I mean I've not watched it, but didn't even Henry Cavill leave? Because he's like, yeah, you're not doing this justice. That's going to be my first merch on the channel. I love Rose Tico T-shirts. Why isn't he climbing on this lap? Like climbing out? There we go. I've not watched it, but I've heard about it. <laughs> what? It's the best thing you've ever seen. Well, well, what did you love about it? What made you love it so much? Is my stream a masterpiece in compared to season 3 of Witcher? Tell me my stream's a masterpiece in comparison. Tell me it is. Boulders destroy- What? Jesus. So you're telling me I've also got to destroy lots of boulders around the map? I've got to find aliens, grow flowers, break bowl, there's a lot to do on this game. Look at the look at the overall percentage of the game I've done so far by the way. 17%. This is going to be longer than Tomb Raider at this rate. But at least it's fun. No more people dropped off after 15 minutes. I just don't know why they feel like they need to get these game like titles and just destroy them. What's the obsession with it? Are you looking forward to the Fallout show? There's a Fallout show, isn't there? I'm going to play that music for you. Okay, this is from Donkey Kong Country 2. It sounds like Phil Collins. <laughs> the top comment is... The top comment is... Phil Collins and his lawyers disliked this. <laughs> Phil Collins and his lawyers dislike this. Hey Amelia, welcome back. I was just listening to Donkey Kong Country 2 music that sounds like Phil Collins. <laughs> they must have in, they must have based it on that Phil Collins song. It just sounds too similar to not be. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard it, Amelia. It's this. It's the level's called Swamp Theme. It sounds like something in the air tonight by Phil Collins. It's like not even. It's not even funny. It's just so similar. Everyone in the comments is even talking about it. <laughs> How long you got left to work, Amelia? Good few hours. That was fun using that speedboat. Yeah, I have a lot. It, it, even most of the comments are talking about it. Something in the swamp tonight. It just sounds so similar. It's crazy. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, there's a fire on that building. Someone better call the fire brigade. Wait. Where's my... Uh... Oh, this is it. I am a fireman. What does he call those things again? Uh... Is it a caduceus or something? That snake on the pole. I'm sure it's like caduceus or something. The medical symbol. Yikes. Things really went from bad to worse. 
Wars. <laughs> yeah, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I could do this here. Donkey Kong Country Returns was a good game. I liked that. And um, Tropical Freeze was a good game too. Even though the game was obviously a lot more based upon like levels being icy themed for the most, it still had a lot of variety. And still a good game. I wish, I just kind of wish that I could have streamed them because I probably would have been more inclined to get 100% in this day and age. But uh, they were good games. Some good music in them. Rose Tikius, that's alright. Yes, you're under arrest. You're under arrest, oh yes. I actually think I killed him. Dave the Diver has awesome soundtrack. I want to play that. Why can't they just stick it on the store so I can buy it and play it? Why don't they just do that? Because I just want to play it. Why don't they just stick it on the store to buy? More ghouls and goblins soon, guys. What do you think? More ghouls and goblins soon? Cannot pull this fire out. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, ah. Uh. I can feel it coming in the swamp tonight. <laughs> oh Lord. And Donkey has been waiting for this moment of his life. Oh Lord, can you feel <laughs> it? doesn't sound like it. Have you heard it? It doesn't sound like it. I can feel it coming in the swamp tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they must have been inspired by here. Yeah. Undertale. I've heard that's a really good RP. Hello, my little cat. Hello, my little gremlin cat. Where are you going? You ought to see the scratch pads. The scratch pad. The scratch posts are like destroyed. <laughs> It's actually on Donkey Kong Country 3 there was a level, the very first level actually and the, sa the soundtrack on the very first level of Donkey Kong Country 3 it sounds very similar to a UK sitcom and in the Game Boy re-release they changed the theme tune on that level and it makes me wonder if they did it because it was like plagiarising practically, it sounded so identical. Uh... <laughs> Did everyone enjoy the totally wholesome Ben hugging his cat photo? Did you see the legs? It's the, the, the cat's, well Percy his name is, his legs dangling down. His legs were dangling down so long. He's the oldest cat. Mm. I need the hook shot, isn't it? Oh, there we go. I think Amelia saw that photo. I think I was actually like getting him ready to put flea. Did you see the pick of men's calves? <laughs> there you have, I think. 
Why can't I snap this off? Why isn't it letting me in? Oh, you, oh, you, I'm going up. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, surgeon. Oh, awesome. I can be a surgeon. Yeah, so Ronnie that comes into the chat, he actually pointed out that on this game, the co op isn't as um, focal to the game like other Legos. Because in other Lego games, you have two characters running around together, but in this, it's always just the one character. And I didn't notice that really until he pointed it out. I mean, obviously, you can have two players, but you don't have two characters running around. Default. You saw it, didn't you? I'm sure. I'm sure you saw it, Doc. <laughs> are really not that raunchy guys it's like nothing people don't see when I'm not cycling my bike <laughs> in summer <laughs> there was a I think I mentioned this before Amelia Amelia there was this woman on, I've got like some shorts they're like there are kind of athletic shorts, but this woman was so disgusted by me wearing them once. Since it was like a heat wave, actually, she was absolutely disgusted by it. She was like, "Uh, she was like, those shorts are a bit short." And I pointed out to her that there are, there's a bunch of women playing hockey on the field nearby with shorts that are way shorter than mine. It was a, a heat wave. <laughs> she was so disgusted. <laughs> you would think I've seen people with shorter shorts than what I was wearing that day. She, the way she like looked at me, it was like the shorts were up the crack. You know what I mean? Then they, they certainly weren't. They were to my knees, like midway up my. Uh, there was my, there was like off. There was like. What do you call it? Like the the section of your legs, the thighs. They weren't that revealing. <laughs> I thought it was rude though. It's like I could have commented on her if I wanted. Yeah, but yeah, but have you ever seen a rugby player's shorts? Have you ever seen a male rugby player's shorts? They weren't as short as that. <laughs> And it was a heat wave. <laughs> it was a heat, it was actually one of the hottest days in the UK. And as you know, we aren't used to heat, so that was a lot. How do I get on this roof? Uh... And you know what? By the way, do you know when she said it? She was with her husband and her son as well. <laughs> You know once, right, I was on a train coming back. Hey Phantom, how you doing? Good to see you. Any more Akumu difficulty tonight? Okay, once I was on a train coming back from the city. There was this man, his daughter and his wife. And his daughter... <laughs> when can wear short shorts? She has just proved. This... His daughter, admittingly, she was, you know, a bit on the way to your side, but she wasn't too overweight or anything like that. But I was very thin back then. This is years ago before I had any muscle. Because I had a bit of an eating issue back in the day. 
when I was like in my early 20s and then wearing short shorts in there <laughs> so in the early my early 20s I had a bit of an eating issue and I was very skinny and the man on the train he said to me you need to eat some food you like yeah and like just at, came out you need to eat some food you do he's like if my daughter sat on you she'd crush you <laughs> you know I just sat there like okay and he offered to pay <laughs> he offered to pay for my train ticket and he said he would because the money that I save on the train ticket I could buy myself some fish and chips with it <laughs> and fatten myself up I'm not joking that actually happened that was years ago and I was actually feeling quite depressed that day and that's why I went to the city and then I get like someone saying some shit like, <laughs> like that to me and I was like okay <laughs> oh I should go to shoot that oh I've got the wrong colour yeah some people just don't know when to be quiet some people just don't know when to be quiet in public sometimes hello doctor how are you look at the way this doctor walks she's not in a rush to save any lives is she oh sh <laughs> I'm sorry how do I get on top of this building it's over here <laughs> that's he says that his, he says his daughter would crush me his wife just sat there she didn't say anything she probably thought it was rude for him to say yeah phantom are you going to play evil within today or was that akuma difficulty enough for you yesterday that first two levels The, that first bit is tough though, the first two chapters on Akumu is tricky. How do I get on top of this building? Um... Yeah. I know it's rude ain't it Amelia? Yeah. Yeah, it's no different than like going up to someone that's like overweight and just calling them fat, you know. I used to watching Barker. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's another story how I escaped certain death from a girl sitting on me on a train. After that, you will stream. How long is that on for? Yeah, he would be shocked if he saw my meaty calves nowadays. Actually, I think I probably had big calves back then, though. I think it's because I used to tiptoe as a kid. How do I get on top of this building? I need someone who's played the game who can help me get on this building. To get, to, to put more weight on, I, I was making like banana, uh, like mass gainer drinks with chocolate in them. I used when I was like skinny in my early twenties. I it was actually an eating issue though. I would eat like a biscuit or two, and uh, some fish each day, and that was about. I would eat a fish and a couple of biscuits, and I thought that would make that would be healthy. <laughs> it wasn't healthy to do that. How did I get on this roof? Ah. Uh... <laughs> I need to figure out how I got on this roof so bad. Is that an elevator? Oh, it's an elevator. Okay, that's why I struggled to get on the roof. That's the only elevator in the game I've encountered. I had no idea elevators were a thing in this game. Oh, I don't want to go down. I'm not fighting. No, I'm not.
Peanut butter. Yes, I put peanut butter in too. Yeah. Wait. They were asked to eat lots of peanut butter. Oh, you know what, Amelia? Do you know what? You know what my issue is actually, Amelia, at the minute. Because obviously, like I've mentioned, I like to work out. But I'm always in two minds. I'm like, do I want to put more weight and size on? Or do I want to lose body fat, you know? And so I end up stuck in this limbo where I'm not making progress one way or another. Because I don't want to gain too much fat, but I don't want to, you know, lose weight either. And I think I just need to decide what I want to do. And I think I just want to keep putting more size on for now. And then, I've, I've seen like transformations of guys who are like big pretty overweight and then when they just lose the fat as long as they're lifting weights and they lose the fat they look great afterwards kind of like kind of like a dirty bulk but not really a dirty bulk uh, 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 I need the yeah, answer what I need do you dirty bulk McCoy <laughs> How long uh, will that is Phantom? How long is that thing on for that you're watching? Ouch! How long will you be watching that for before you stream? How is this? It's a fun game, Phantom. I'm only 17% through. I think I've done nearly. I think I've actually done nearly most of the chat story missions. But I'm going to have to go like through the open world and repeat the missions again with the other characters I've unlocked. It's a fun game. I was I was riding a, a T-Rex earlier. A skeleton T-Rex. American high school football. You know, <laughs> that's how what happens to me. Do you know, like I've seen on, I've seen like on TV shows and stuff, like these American teenage boys they're like 16 years old, they look like they're 20, you know, they're that big and muscly and they're only like 16 but they look like they're 20. I wish I had them kind of genetics. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I eat pretty clean and it's just so slow making progress. I think I need to eat five more Easter eggs today. Let's eat Easter eggs together. Uh, so how do I get... That's interesting. Oh, I must have to get on the roof and drop down. I guess that's what I've got to do. <laughs> I haven't got any Easter eggs. I ate one Easter egg then. If I was a much is is he? He is huge and power lifter and he's only sixteen. He's as big as a thirty year old. Oh god, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of your friend's son Amelia. Tell him I'm jealous. <laughs> if I was a big guy I would want to have played rugby, but if I tried to play it now I'd get bro I'd get broken in all. I'm not that big. <laughs> Sandwich out of two slabs of butter. Oh, I hate butter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch football. Like I said, I think rugby is more interesting than football. Because at least in rugby, you see blood and broken bones. <laughs> Uh, the farmer. Yeah, I didn't realise in Lego City Undercover you would be a farmer and an uh, astronaut and... It's kind of cool to say it's like just an original IP they came up with. Farmer versus thugs. Did any of you guys play the original Plants vs Zombies? Like the strategy game? I loved Plants vs Zombies. I wish it was on the here to play. 
I used to play it on my PS3, but it became so like I was doing the endless waves, Plants vs Zombies, endless waves, and it became I, I was progressing so much the game actually started to lag so bad. I couldn't maintain the garden as the zombies were destroying it because it was just so laggy on PS3. I wish I wish it was on PS4. Maybe the game wouldn't drop in frames and I'd be able to continue surviving. I mean I am spraying this. What the Yeah there's that Plants vs Zombie but there's also the Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare games. You know the third person shooters which I actually do like. Although the first two are the best. Why can I not put this... Oh, there we go. Wow, you had to be really specific where you was shooting that water. Uh... That's the wrong colour. I think it needs to be red. Hang on. So what's then game about then? Which game? Which game do you mean? Garden Warfare? What's Garden Warfare, you mean? Oh, I know what I've got to do. I'll tell you what I really like, Amelia. Garden Warfare 2, the uh, enemy wave mode. Oh, that is so good in that game. I think it's called Garden Ops. That is so good in the second one. Hey, did I just shoot an egg? I've only just realised you can do that, guys. Look. You can attack enemies by shooting eggs out of the chickens. Oh, what are they called? Cloaca. That's the word. Cloacas, I think. You shoot eggs out of a cloaca. So... This game, you play as a cop called Chase, and you're after a guy called. Uh, <laughs> you you uh, after a guy called Rex, who's the villain. But could I tell you what the actual plot is? Not really, because I'm usually talking <laughs> when the plot's unfolding. <laughs> I'm sure there's a Wikipedia page. <laughs> I really, need to, I really need to, I mean, it's not a plot you need to pay attention to, personally, for me. But I probably should play, pay attention. It could be a really heartwarming story, you know. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Actually, Amelia, you know you was talking about that rooster that you used to have? Well, I was being woken up uh, a couple of days in a row by a rooster making that quack -doo -doo -doo, making that noise and I was in bed and I thought I'm like a neighbour must have a rooster and eventually I was down my garden and I heard that noise and it sounded really close behind my garden fence and then I looked over and there was a cockerel, a rooster. Someone had ditched it. Someone had... <laughs> Someone had thrown or, you know, ditched this cockerel and dumped it behind my garden. And it was trapped there. Because it, behind my garden is kind of like this bit of waste... Like waste space land. And it was just there making crowing noises. Yeah, he was making like noises crowing. I'm like, no wonder that sounded so close. He's behind my garden, and my bedroom is near the end of the garden. So I managed to get capture him. We captured him, me and one of my friends. My friend's sister's big on animal uh, protection and stuff. So she came down and we caught it, and we got it sent off to a new home with lots of other chickens and roosters. They must, the person must have bought it and realised it was too loud. 
and got rid of it. Yeah, Lego ne Lego games known for their deep story, <laughs> moving plot. <laughs> Definitely had a roost. <laughs> Cock a doodle. Yeah. You have to be quite precise with this uh, water. Yeah, I was saying actually earlier on, I'm kind of surprised by these LEGO streams because yesterday the stream ended and the video had had like 40 views, like 40 people had clicked on it, I guess. And then when I, woke up, I woke up in the morning and it was like, clo it was close to like nearly 100. So I guess people must be finding the video and clicking on it, even if they don't watch it or watch any of, any of it at all. People are still finding the videos and clicking on them, so I guess it's still a good sign. Because I guess the thumbnails attracting attention and they're kind of coming across it somehow. But actually, when I was looking at my YouTube's analysis analytics earlier, it said I have a hundred and thirty or hundred and forty regular viewers who keep coming back to the channel and obviously there's not that many people in the chat so there must be people out there that do it off come often but they don't talk Look, if you shoot water at them, they go rolling. Look, you shoot them with the water, lot, they roll away. <laughs> did I fin- yes, Phantom. Phantom, if you're still there. I did finish Resi 3. I still need to get the Platinum Trophy on it. But the problem is, it's not an interesting Platinum. The problem is, no way to well, let me just wait till these are finished talking. But I could climb up there. I hope I get to jump off there at the end. Yeah, so the problem Resident Evil 3's Platinum is that I basically have to go through the game on the harder difficulties, so it's like Hardcore, Infernal and something else. That kind of reminds me of Roseanne Barr, I don't know why. When these are talked, I'll finish Phantom. Not a problem. I'll head there now. Do you need backup? No time. I can handle this. Um, yeah, so... I've got to go for Resident Evil 3. Like, three more times. On the order difficulties. And you have to go through the order setting in two hours. With the S rank. The thing is, the way that Resident Evil 3 is kind of set up with the... There's like an in-game shop where you buy coins that will heal your health for you or you can buy infinite rocket launcher which I have so it encourages you to play through these it encourages you to go it's only like an hour two hours 
one hour well if you have to finish it in two hours for s rank so two hours i guess but the way the game isn't designed it encourages you to use the infinite rocket launcher to speed run through it because otherwise you'd be struggling Jamie, yeah, she could be. Jamie Presley. <laughs> so, um, basically, I would just need to go through the game multiple times with an infinite rocket launcher. So, would that really be interesting to stream? It's barely interesting to do, you know? But I guess I could casually do Inferno mode with the rocket launcher. If I just feel like playing the game on a stream with like no brain power, I guess I could do that. Yeah, the one that sound I said thought sounded like Ramzan. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to paint this. I don't think I can. I think it needs to be blue. Yes, there it is. I hope that made sense, Phantom, because I don't know if it made sense. Hey, Georgia, how you doing? I bet you've platinum this now, Georgia. Uh, I don't think I've got to go all the way back here. Yeah, so basically, I've just got to go through the game multiple times with infinite rocket launcher. And it, I don't think it would be exciting, but... Mm, you know, I could actually, I could, you know, maybe that's the opportunity to actually record a video for once. You're on 77%, you're only 60% ahead of me. Hey, if you think this is repetitive, wait till you try 100% Lego Skywalker Saga. But to be fair, I really enjoyed it, so it didn't bother me. Uh, how do I get up here? Oh yeah, maybe I should, maybe I'll do like the Infernal run on stream, <coughs> maybe I'll do the Infernal run on stream, but there's no point in doing the hardcore one. <laughs> oh it's a cute, I think it's a cute game even if you're not a Star Wars fan. Phantom's not watched any of the Star Wars and he was watching me play it, well you've watched them now but. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I think I still like Skywalker Saga more because of the music and everything but I can't say this is not good because it is fun this is good yeah if I can find the red bricks I'm actually stuck I need to get I know I need to get that how do I get up on top of there I need to get on this roof how do I get on this roof? You can help, Georgia. You can help. <laughs> How do I get on top of this roof? Is it something to do with this part? Oh, hang on. The astronaut. The astronaut. What an idiot. Lego Worlds. I will say, hey, Georgia, would you consider playing Lego Jurassic World? That was a fun game. Uh... Yeah, she's not going to tell us how you get the Lego hookers. <laughs> I honestly believe Patty when he said that they were in the game. Lego Incredibles. I believed him when he said they were in the game. I thought it would, would seem a bit off though, like in a Lego game. <laughs> I'm like, really? Hookers in a Lego game? That's got to, that can't be true. <laughs> no, I didn't believe him though. Lego Incredibles. Yeah, this, I, this was only four quid. Who was the little gremlin that headbutts you? Oh, you mean Gertie. 
the little cat. The little female cat is called Gertie. She's not here at the minute. I don't know if she's gone. Ah, there we go. Took too long to do that, but we've done it. I've got to take my brother's pet pug for a walk tomorrow. At lunch, after I've worked out. In fact, I'm looking after the pug all morning. Oh yeah, which level was that? Coliseum? Hey, uh, hey Tits McCoy, guess what? Tomb Raider tomorrow. Finishing it. Gotta finish it tomorrow. Power Slave was here earlier and he actually says that there is a save crystal near one of the tough parts of Atlantis, so that's good to know. Or oh, Coliseum, at least you at least you know, Georgia, that um, there's only one save crystal if you do that skip. <laughs> yeah, I'm close to platinum it, Phantom Tomb Raider 1. I'm not going to try and get the DLC trophies for Tomb Raider 1 yet because they're bugged. But I'll go return in future and get them. They're not exciting really, trophies though. I'll just do it when I want to chill out on stream. Oh my gosh. Hey Justin, it's okay, I thought you'd like the bear short, because you did request it. Must not get to her. You found three, what, Georgia, sorry? Oh, you found three crystals. They're in the pits at the bottom. Oh, wow, yeah, no wonder I didn't see any. Oh, that's cool, because I was thinking it would be good to float off there with the chicken. Reprimanded, but this, but there is. <laughs> yeah, okay, here it goes. Uh, no one gets reprimanded here. No one gets reprimanded. <laughs> yeah, okay, do that, uh, do that, Phantom. I was actually in this stream earlier speaking to him. Mm -hmm. I can read. Mm -hmm. I do like, that effect's quite good. Like the blur effect. Like the bridges in the background and stuff looks pretty cool. Where am I going now anyway? Uh... Oh, onto that roof. This reminds me of pilot wings. No problem, Justin. Superman 64. I like Pilot Wing 64. I wasn't very good at it, but I did like Pilot Wing 64. Hey, well, okay. You're getting burnt out of Tomb Raider after watching three streamers play. Yeah, and you, I'm getting bored of Tomb Raider. It's upsetting. <laughs> now it's fine. Tits McCoy's fed up a Tomb Raider. Tits McCoy is absolutely bloody fed up a Tomb Raider. Oh, sure. 
He's told me, he's like, I'm sick of Tomb Raider. <laughs> There's a lot of Tomb Raider going about. <laughs> See, he, he, he's already told me. Well, if it's any constellation, there's only one more to. There's probably only one more stream of Tomb Raider 1 to come for a long time. But then I'll be doing Tomb Raider 2. But don't feel compelled. Don't feel compelled to watch Tomb Raider 2 if you don't want to watch it, you know. You can always just come and say hi, drop a like and leave. <laughs> yeah, even George, by the way, Georgia loves Tomb Raider and she's trying to put Tomb Raider 1. <laughs> no reprimand, you're not reprimanded. Yes, The Last of Us. I'm very bit out of The Last of Us. Keep back. I'll deal with them. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Like I say, don't feel compelled. Do not feel compelled to watch a game you don't like. I mean, I will be playing Tomb Raider 2, but that's why I want to get the N64 emulators working pretty soon. Because I want to, I want to, um, you know, one day it'll be Tomb Raider 2, then it'll be Ocarina of Time, you know, I want to, I want to mix up the games more. <clears throat> it'll allow me to mix up the games more. It's been at least five minutes since The Last of Us got another remaster. Yeah, they keep remastering it, don't they? <laughs> Inevitably. But I will say, actually, as someone that used to go for high score runs, on Res I like the purple one. I used to go for high scores on Resident Let's Evil mode, mi Mercenaries mode, and I would do the same thing for hours and hours. I have quite, I have like quite a large patience threshold for repetitive things. No idea. Did it look like Chen or Vinnie Papa? Wow, look at this! Like <laughs> I didn't realise you could be in helicopters. Oh wow, this is cool! Isn't this amazing? Look. I think I'll end the stream pretty soon, though. I don't know the details, and he kept his cabin locked up tight because of the precious stones he was working with. What's going on, Chase? I'm not 100% sure. That, yeah, I'll end the stream in a minute. These other guys? Maybe Rex is working for them. I'll find out. First, I'm taking you to a friend. The only thing I'm, I'm like I said, I'm Tomb Raider one. I'm not going to do it off. I'm going to do that off stream where I have to. Break all the tiles. Nice thing you just said to me? I will be doing Tomb Raider 2 though. But don't watch if you don't want to watch it. But I will be streaming this, and soon I'll be streaming SNES and N64, so. Uh, what the hell is that? Why is my chopper taking damage? I've not been to the Statue of Liberty thing yet. I'll save it for later. Might land this chopper and end the stream. I'm gonna end the stream in a second. Get to Ellie soon? Off stream content. You don't want to watch me break tiles, Doc. It's not in exciting. So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter then. <laughs> now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. Cosmo is going to be so upset when he finds out I'm not probably watching Team Raid any time. <laughs> Amelia, you don't have to. You you can if you see me, just drop a like, say hello, and leave. I'm fine if you don't want to watch Tomb Raider. And you can 
Visit some of the other streamers on those days, can't you? You can just uh, give those other streamers some love on those days. The pillow part of it. Tits McCoy will keep me company on the Tomb Raider streams. Oh, we got a trophy. Chapter 11. The proof of the pudding is in the meeting. But I think I'll do this chapter tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Do you know what, Amelia, though? Do you know sometimes I'm watching a streamer, right? And they'll be like playing. This is what bugs me, though, okay? So I'm watching a streamer and they say they're playing a certain game. Let me just let this music finish. I struggle to talk when there's like music playing. So. I'm watching a streamer, they're playing a certain game, and then they will switch to Fortnite. Oh, I can't stand Fortnite. <laughs> I hate Fortnite. And no matter how much I love or like the person that's playing it, I just cannot watch Fortnite. <laughs> you know? It's just, I cannot do it. <laughs> Swooper. I think if I water this... <laughs> I've got a very nice laugh. Uh, roughly never. Fortnite roughly never. I do love the, like I've said before, the scenery. That kind of like blurs a little bit. You know when you get that heat wave blur? Kind of looks like that. Look at the little Lego people going about their days. Hey Cosmo. <laughs> How you doing Cosmo? Um, I'm actually about to end the stream pretty soon. But feel free to like the video. <laughs> One second. Just reply to a text message. My chicken. <laughs> you were flirting with me a bit when I was speaking Spanish. Yes. <laughs> what did I say? Sexy bilingual tongue. <laughs> That's what I said. I wish I could talk another language. I know that Mela... Okay, I know a little bit of French, I think. I know a little bit of French, okay. Are you ready? Melon Cotton. I think that means peach. But uh, I don't know much else, so it's not very useful. <laughs> Salacious photo. The bear short. That was for Justin. Uh, Grant, sorry, who comes into the chat. He kept asking for the bear as a short, so I made it for him. Then putting out the barbecue fires and locks for it. How comes I always get my peak viewers when I'm about to leave? <laughs> I said that to someone earlier. I'm like, when I'm about to leave, everyone will pile into the stream. <laughs> and it's happened again. <laughs> I need to start streaming later. And <laughs> English. I speak two languages. I speak English and bad English. 
Why do you need bricks? Uh, what a red brick? No problem, Cosmo. The red bricks. Okay, look at this extras. Look at this extras. See this? So these red bricks. It's the car's pick. <laughs> Where's his main car? So the red bricks will unlock different things. As such as these stud multipliers. So if you get a bunch of these, I will get more collectibles. It will multiply the studs that I collect so I can buy things quicker. And look, there's like, there's like, wow, there's a lot. Jeez, wow, there is a lot. Costumes off, oh, wonder what that is. 100% complete locked, oh, what that is. Uh, yes, I don't know what those codes are. Exactly. Don't know what those codes are exactly. I think you can unlock like certain, like in Star Wars Skywalker Saga, I don't know if you did this, Amelia, I, uh, or not. But on Lego Skywalker Saga, you can put a code in to unlock like a Christmas-themed Darth Vader. And he's wearing like a red Christmas jumper with a Death Star on. You can unlock a white Wookiee, like a Christmas Wookiee. Uh, <laughs> if you have a code, you can find the codes online easy. I don't know what the codes do on this game. Hey, a punk. Oh, that man waved at me and then he just... Is that Keanu Reeves, that one? Hello. I got so much to do today. <clears throat> did you hear that woman? What did they steal? Like a mummy or something? They need... So they had a Startsky and Hutch cameo in this game. Yeah, really, you should look. You look it up, it's so cool, a cute Darth Vader. Why are these guys all laying down? What's happened here? I thought they're all standing up now. I've been in the Lego shop. I unlocked the, um, I unlocked the lizard skin. Where is it gone? Uh, yeah, he seems nice, Keanu Reeves. That's what I would be like if I was an actor. <laughs> a trophy. Uh, I may have. I was probably talking. You got to rebuild everything in there. Ooh, maybe not. There it is. I don't know. Did I build everything? What do I do? Break it down. Maybe I did. Maybe I was like talking and chattering away. And I just didn't like realise. I did unlock the, the uh, lizard skin. I know that's meta that is. <laughs> yeah, meta. Lego store in a Lego city. You could say, Doc, that they like to play with themselves. <laughs> I did get the character. I unlocked a character. <laughs> if you could have dinner with any celebrity alive today. I want to have dinner no joke okay I've got a couple either Sigourney Weaver because she rocks in Alien and Aliens <laughs> I'm sure she's sick of talking about it but would love to have dinner with Sigourney Weaver she seems like a nice person I think or you know Sharon Gless from Cagney and Lacey I've actually watched all Cagney and Lacey <laughs> and yeah I'd like to have a chat with Sharon Gless yeah, Harrison Ford would be cool. 
Yeah, Harrison Ford would be cool. Ask, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, Henry Cavill, because he's a gamer. Uh, yes, that's true. And is it, yeah, he does seem nice, Henry Cavill. You don't like the muscles, though, do you, Amelia? I bet you don't like the muscles at all on him. That's no, ugh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Here's McCoy wants uh, dinner with Rose Tico's actress. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe maybe have a chat with Linda Hamilton. I don't know, as well. While we're at it, <laughs> a chat with Robocop. Robocop's not real. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, he would. Yeah. That's a good question, though, Amelia. That actually. That was actually a good one. Have I been up here? I don't know if I've been up here. I don't think I've been up here. Ooh. One thing about one thing about Tom Cruise, I do appreciate the fact that he kind of like he does his own stunts in the films. That's pretty crazy, though. A lot of actors would not do their own stunts. And he does them crazy stunts that are pretty life threatening, honestly, some of them. He's got a, quite a lot of balls for a little man, hasn't he, John, uh, Tom Cruise? I don't think he's that tall, is he, Tom Cruise? I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I've got some chatting. I hate, I hate ending the streams when I'm chatting. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I can't use. Oh, hang on, I'm the wrong character. He's a short ass like me. <laughs> what is he like? Five? Is he five foot six or something? I bet he's still taller than me. <laughs> Oh, hang on, did that work then? Uh, oh, okay. There's something. Disco dude, disguise unlocked. Yeah, he's a little bit taller than me. <laughs> Someone on the crew of mission was a fan, so they showed it. To oh, okay. What this? Oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> nice pink limo. Hey look, I'm nearly at four hours. I think I should end this stream when I hit four hours. I think that would be a good thing to do. I'm sure people have other things they want to do with their lives and not watch me all day, so four hours will end. Hey, 
Hey, karate kids walking down the street. <laughs> yeah, they got a start skiing Uch Easter egg in this game. They should have Cagney and Lacey Easter egg in the game. Wow. Maybe if I stream Lego long enough, someone will show me. Sh someone will show the uh, Lego people me, and then the Lego world people will invite me to Lego World, and I can be a Lego person and escape all my worries. Yeah, he's, I guess he is a kind guy. I, I just guess we could do without the sociology thing. <laughs> yeah, I just guess we could do without the sociology thing. Henry's little nephew told his class that his uncle was Superman. All the kids picked on him for a week until... Oh, he actually... <laughs> A fish. Oh, these are cute, these are. Look, you have to feed these little black cats fish with the fireman. So the thumbnail where I've got my little black cat, oh my gosh. He held him by the scuff of the neck and stuffed him into his helmet. Cats rescued, one of seven, oh my god. You have to rescue little black cats so the cat on my thumbnail is not clickbait. Genuinely is little black cats in the game, that's so cute. And his little nephew is this tiny little kid with glasses on. This was a fun stream. Started quiet. It started quiet and then uh, got pretty lively towards the middle and end. But yeah, tomorrow, Amelia, I'm going to be finishing Tomb Raider 1. Do not feel you have to watch. You can just drop a like, say hello, and leave. You're not forced to watch. <clears throat> Go and um, help out some of the other channels a little bit, you know. You can join in chat, because you do spend a lot of time in my streams, to be fair, when there's the chats going on. Ooh. So, on the Tomb Raiders, you can help out some of us. Hey, hey, you know what, actually? My, um, my, I've got a picture of my little cat where she climbed up a tree on the end of the garden. I'm gonna, I'll post that to the community tab at some point. Because I know when Jason's here, Great Beyond, and Doc talking about Twilight Zone, Amelia also likes to chat about that. <laughs> she spends a while here, Amelia does. <coughs> And I, I do, I like it when she's here. I like it when all you guys are here. I even like it when Tits McCoy's here, believe it or not. <coughs> oh, we've hit four minutes. I'll get this brick and I guess I'll save the game. Oh yeah, I need to watch some more Twilight Zone, actually. I'm going to try and do that. Maybe I can do it tomorrow. Get one episode watched. Let's just see what's on this building while I'm up here and then I'll leave. Because I guess there was a point to coming up here.
Yes, there was. Dr. Jones unlocked. That sounds good to me, Amelia. Do you know why that sounds really good? Because I'm one of the people that voted Splatoon. <laughs> I'm one of them that voted it, so yes, sounds good to me. You know, actually, though, I don't stream on I don't stream on the weekends really. But according to my YouTube statistics, most of my followers on YouTube are most active on Saturdays afternoons, evenings. Maybe I should one day stream on a Saturday. I don't know. Maybe when I'm doing N64 stuff. Yes. Yeah, please, anyone who's not checked out Amelia, check her out, guys. And she has the face camera, so you get to see the full rage. You get to see the rage in full flow with the face camera. Please check her out if you haven't. We can all be friends. Cause soon, cause um, like I say, I got rid of one of mine lately. Well, I got rid of one of my friends lately of six years. So let's all be friends. <laughs> okay, well I guess I'll end the stream here for now. I don't want to start the next objective. Thursday is some. Is it? Thursday is the all popular day. <clears throat> well, it's a shame that... You, well, I guess I couldn't raid... I, I couldn't do a raid thing anyway, because you're not streaming, but... Full <laughs> face rage. I'd, I need to get a face camera in future. What is she wearing? What is, Amelia, what is this woman wearing? That woman, that woman got angry at me for wearing shorts. She's wearing a bloody loincloth or something. <coughs> Catch you next time. Natalie's mind's tomorrow, yes. It will be dark. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining everybody. You've kept me company and you've made me, che you've cheered me up after a couple of shitty days. So it's been nice to talk. So it might be horrible Tomb Raider tomorrow, as I say, but... <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay everyone? Thanks for joining and I'll check you guys out soon. <laughs> cave yeah, she's like I think it's for the carnival, cave woman. <laughs> right, see you guys. I've had a fun time. Hope you've enjoyed watching. <clears throat> Take care everybody. <laughs>